Hello everyone, I wanted to share with you a project that I got to work on with our pre-kindergarten students. I collaborated with Becca Guess, a pre-K educator, and Jean McLaughlin, a science specialist, to develop a project that had our little friends uh, take on the role of zookeepers. The driving question for the project was this, how will you as zookeepers design a habitat for an animal? This project encompasses a challenging and meaningful problem provides students with a learning experience that features real-world context and tasks, provides students voice and choice in what they create, requires the application of standards-based content and skills for multiple subject areas, and finally, gave them the opportunity to present their work publicly. First, our pre-K learners chose an animal they wanted to learn about and design a habitat for. With Becca Guess, students use dramatic play to actually act out the role of zookeepers, taking care of animals, as well as role playing as the animals they were designing for, creating a great opportunity for learning empathy. In math, Becca had students count their animals, compare different numbers of animals, created patterns, and measure the grass they created in the habitat. In writing, our learners worked on their presentation script that included information on where the animals live, what they eat, and how they look. In science and design class, students created a model habitat for their animal that contained soil and water, and then added alfalfa sprout seeds for vegetation. Students learned about the characteristics of living things that distinguish them from non-living things, how the environment helps plants and animals meet their needs such as water, food, air, shelter, and light, and how animals and plants are dependent on one another to meet their basic needs. They also learned about the features of their specific animal, created a family of animals using colored clay, and then added it to their habitat. They also made observations to explain that young plants and animals are like, but not exactly like their parents. Finally, our PK students presented their animal and habitat as zookeepers to their peers, other students, teachers, and parents. They explained what their animals ate, where they lived, how the habitat they created helped plants and their animals survive, and how their offsprings of their animals were similar to the parents, but not exact. Thank you so much for watching. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel for more uh, PBL videos like this. Peace.